Hello everyone. So in this video, we will set up a Prometheus MCP server for Spring Boot application. Prometheus is an open source system monitoring and alerting toolkit designed for reliability and scalability. It collects and stores the metrics at time series data, providing a powerful query capabilities. Prometheus is widely used for monitoring application infrastructure and cloud native environment. So let's see the setup of Prometheus MCP server. So let us first um, create a simple Spring Boot application. We will not do any much uh, big thing. We will just have a simple Spring Boot application with a REST endpoints. So I will select, uh, uh, say, MCP server. Go with this Maven 24 and click on the next. I choose a Spring Web Prometheus and Actuator. So Spring Boot Actuator. Okay. Let's create and click on a new window. To see the actuators, what you need to do is uh, go to the resource and I'll create a um, a simple file application uh, YML okay and we just need to expose this uh, management endpoints and I'll include a star so all so that you can see the actuator uh, endpoint and see the matrix over there so let me start this application This application got started. What you need to do is uh, local host 8080 and check the actuator, and you can see all the endpoints over there. If you don't expose this, uh, then we won't be able to see uh, except for two or three metrics. But with actuator, we can see everything. And if you put over there slash Prometheus, then we can see in the Prometheus format all the details which are required as an input to the Prometheus now um, you need to download the Prometheus so you can say Prometheus download go to the download and here you can just if I'm using the Windows but respective operating system you can download so you can download and extract the Prometheus so I'll just go through it And here, once you download it, you need, just need to extract. And I already downloaded, so I will show you wha what you need to do. So once you extract, you can uh, here you extract. Then you can go to this uh, uh, this folder, and then you just right click on this uh, Prometheus .yml and just edit it. Okay. And in the scrap config, I have just changed that uh, you just need to change this name uh, job name matrix path that is executed Prometheus and the target that is localhost 8080 where the Spring Boot application is running okay so once this is done then you can go to this Prometheus folder and you can click on this Prometheus exe okay so if you see over there there is an address called 9090 so it is running on this 9090 what we can do is go to this localhost 9090 and you can see the ui where exactly it is running once this uh, prometheus server is running what you can do is the cloud desktop um, as a client that we are using here so go to the you can use the any mcp clients which follows the mcp protocol so if I go to the here in file and in the settings click on developer and click on edit and if you go to the here you are currently blank what you can do is whatever the server that we have done in the Prometheus site now what we need to do is just we need to put this command so command is a docker and make sure that the docker desktop is installed on your machine uh, then we have an argument and this is the pass where we are passing this Prometheus URL username password in our case the username and passwords are blank but if you have a remote server and if you have a secure server you can put the username and password as well 
and here we are just putting a 9090 because we are running so to access the local machine from the docker we just need to put in host dot docker dot internal so it will uh, resembling like a local host and then 9090 nothing so much fancy over here we just need to just get this uh, image and just need to provide this parameter just three environment variable in you just uh, docker run and using hyphen hyphen rm okay now um, let me uh, open this uh, first of all let we need to close this because then we just need to restart it actually and if it is not properly closed we can go to this task manager and click on cloud and just end this task and now reopen it let's see and if you go to this docker desktop and currently there are no images but uh, in a few seconds you will get this image container you can see the Prometheus has been started by this um, MCP the client that is cloud and here in the tool you can see the Prometheus is there and the five tools currently are present okay so now we can ask simply a uh, list all the metrics of application or we can say JVM related metrics of the application in table format. Okay, let's see. okay it is asking now now it is picking up the prometheus and it's asking i'll just say allow once okay so it has started so now let us see so now it is trying to put in everything in a tabular format so let's see what the output is all about Okay, so we got everything here. Okay, now let's see. Uh, okay, here everything, all the information is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, please uh, give me. Okay, it has already given the information related to your Spring Boot application. So it has picked our Spring Boot application and it is finding the. So you can query all the metrics, you don't need to go. Uh, for the UI you, need, you don't need to put the queries and everything in there all right so you can even ask a customized query that I just want to find out this query you don't need to go for a reference to the Prometheus servers and why I have included this server because uh, Prometheus and Grafana and uh, there are some other servers which are very much helpful to this uh, Spring Boot uh, developer for a development on this all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video